Hi there, I'm Ben, an RV technician here at Litson RV, and today I'm gonna to show you how to winterize Winnebago Revel all-wheel drive. Okay, to start with, we're gonna start on the passenger side. We have three valves just right inside the main walk-in door. So we have two low point drains and we have your tank drain. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to just open all three of those drains quickly, just like that. I will actually leave the tank drain open, let that drain as we're going. I'll close the two low point drains, which are the two outside. So just let your tank drain all the way out. And that's just draining underneath onto the ground. And that's just your fresh water tank. All right, now to start, we're gonna go around to the back of the coach. Okay, couple things you're gonna need. Couple gallons of RV antifreeze. At least two, maybe three, it all depends. We need some regs to clean up. You'll need the blue hose that came with the coach. And then of course your sewer hose just to dump your tanks when you're all done at the end. Okay, to start with, right around the corner here, we have a couple valves. There is a, your fresh water tank fill here, or we have a winterizing valve there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that winterizing valve over to winterize. And what that's gonna actually do is shut your fresh water tank off and then turn on this siphon hose. That's how we're gonna get the RV antifreeze into the system. All right, so now usually they have a white cap on the end here, right there, we'll just take that off. And then we'll just set that to the side and we'll reuse that when we're done. All right, open up your antifreeze. Just pop the top open there. Put this hose all the way to the bottom, as far as you can get it down to the bottom there. And that's just so we can actually suck all the antifreeze into there. Main thing is to make sure you use a RV antifreeze, not an auto automotive antifreeze. So RV antifreeze is non-toxic. Your automotive antifreeze and other antifreezes are toxic. So make sure it says RV antifreeze. Okay, so now that we have the hose in our RV antifreeze, our valve switched to winterize. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the back here. I'm gonna grab my blue hose and we're gonna hook up to the outside faucet that's right back here. So I'm just gonna hook up really quick. And then what I'm gonna do is turn my water pump on, which is right up top here. So we'll turn that on. And then I'm gonna turn the hot on. Turn the hot on. And what we're gonna do is just spray until we get a nice steady stream of paint coming out. And the hot's gonna take a little longer than the cold because we're going through a lot more lines and uh, water heater and everything. And what we're doing is we're just pumping the RV antifreeze through the hot water heater. That's how we winterize the whole system. All right, keep spraying. All right, now you can see a nice steady stream of pink coming out. That's how I know I winterized all the hot lines to this point. So now we're gonna turn on the cold and do the same thing again. So we're just gonna spray until, again, you have that nice steady stream of pink coming out. And then stop. All right, so now I finished that container of RV antifreeze off. So I'm gonna actually grab a different one. Open that up before we go inside. All right, so like that. Then we'll just switch that hose over to the new jug. Put that in there. Just like that. Now we'll go inside and we'll winterize the faucets and the fixtures inside. Okay, now that we're inside, we're gonna hit the fixtures that are inside here. So I'm gonna start with the shower. And what I'm gonna do here is I go to the kitchen sink. You can do whatever, you can go in the bathroom, doesn't really matter. So we'll start in the kitchen sink. So now I'm gonna run. Until I get a nice stream of pink coming out, just like that. Shut that off. Then we're gonna do the same thing with the cold side. Nice steady stream of pink there. Okay, and then I'll dump that water out of the sink. Just kind of shake it off there, we'll put that away. Okay, then we also wanna do the toilet. So toilet, again, you're just gonna push the button. 
nice steady stream of paint coming out just like that now we know we went the whole toilet dump it in there okay the other thing you want to make sure you do is make sure we dump a little antifreeze down all of the traps just down the shower you know um the kitchen once you're done dump a little extra down there so we winterize that pump that's pumping it over to the gray tank but we are going to winterize the kitchen sink here so we'll go hot first nice steady pink coming out go over to cold nice steady pink coming out so i'm going to flush that out so what i do for the kitchen is i just run a little bit after i've winterized of that pink run a little bit down there now we can shut that off and then we'll run that pump. So that's making sure we winterize that pump that's pumping it over to the gray tank. Okay, now that we fit everything on the inside, we're gonna go out back to finish up winterizing. Okay, now that we're back out back, one thing I like to do is I like to pull my holes up out of the RV antifreeze. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually run my other hose just a little bit. And that's gonna suck that hose dry just so we're not, helps clean it out a little bit so it's not holding antifreeze. So I'll run that. Now I'm gonna shut the water pump off. I'm gonna take the pressure off this hose before I actually remove it. Otherwise it wants to spray everywhere. So just take that pressure off. Then we'll remove this hose and we'll drain that hose. So you just have to open it, hold it down and just let the hose drain out. Just like that. I'll pull this hose the rest of the way out of the RV antifreeze. And then I just put the cap back on there. Okay, so we'll put that over there. Kind of up to you on the valves here. If you want to leave it in winterized, you can, or you can flip it back up to normal operation because that will make it so you're ready to go when you're ready to de-winterize your RV. Plus, after you get done with this, make sure we actually dump our gray tank, dump our cassette toilet, just make sure everything's empty of water. Nothing, don't give anything a chance to freeze pretty much. Other than that, that is about all there is to winterizing a Rebel all-wheel drive.